up guys welcome back to Melican fishing we are on our anniversary trip and because i have the greatest wife in the world we went fishing we were supposed to go up north uh, by south dakota and it's 30 degrees and a foot of snow up there so we ended up here this is the casa de Melican for the weekend truck and boat boat's about to go off the ledge and there is the lake up there you can barely see it but anyways that lake is table rock lake so we did a little bit of fishing yesterday. I'm trying not to film the whole weekend, obviously. It actually rained seven inches yesterday. So the lake's come up about six to eight feet the last 24 hours. Before that, we kind of got in a little deal, went back and caught a decent fish yesterday. It was probably three and a half pounds. Flipping way back, as far back up as I get into a, a cut uh, in a creek up the river. Uh, but today went back and every creek is flooded way, way up. So we're gonna go down the lake, uh, kind of worried it's gonna be closed actually, down by the dam, try to catch some smallmouth and spotted bass, see if that pattern's rolling. Basically, this is gonna be a lesson of what to do or different types of things you can do when conditions are super flooded in an Ozark Lake like this. We might go hit Truman Lake on the way home tomorrow. We heard the bush flipping bite is good there, so we might hit that on the way home tomorrow, but hopefully we can catch some here and maybe get the drone up, give a little bit of footage of the flood conditions here at Table Rock. That's where it should be. Yeah, we just got to the spot and uh, don't really know what we're gonna launch. I guess we're just gonna pull her up on the gravel here and hope for the best. Look at the old Google Maps and see where the ramp used to be and hope we don't hit anything right over there besides the uh, pole that's underwater. That's what you want, right? It's like the Great Lakes out here. All right, these are only 350 bucks. I'll be good. Balls. That's not good at all. It's funny, I was tying that on earlier and I was like, I've caught so many thousands of fish on this one rod. It's my favorite rod. Like, I can't believe I haven't broken it yet. I was literally thinking that. I'm gonna kill myself right now. You wanna throw this in the glove box real quick? All right, what's up guys? I am now back from Table Rock Lake. Got back last night. Stop vlogging uh, because, you know, weather and water conditions at Table Rock were just absolutely terrible. Me and Becky had a great time on our trip. Enjoyed the time we had together on our anniversary, but it could not have been worse weather. It rained eight inches Saturday. The lake came up 19 feet. Actually, Saturday for like an hour break was the only time we really got out and had any decent fishing before the lake came up and it was just awful. Caught one decent fish, uh, decent largemouth, way back in a creek. You know, that's what I like to do when the water comes up a little bit in the spring, get back in a cut, fish where those fish have just moved up into, especially on those steeper banked lakes. But after that, it was just a crapshoot. You know, I caught one little smallmouth, one little spotted bass, but couldn't really put anything together. But got back last night, and I am going to hit one of my favorite little local lakes here, uh, do some shallow water fishing, do a little bit of a redemption tour um, for, the, for the terrible fishing at Table Rock Lake. Hopefully catch a couple out here tonight. So stay tuned. This lake's got some giants in it. Hopefully we're gonna get on some. Mmm. 
mud. All right, slick, calm, sunny conditions. So we are gonna go with a flipping bait to start off. Of course, this guy's been sitting in my rod locker, so we are gonna juice him up with the old Bass Dynasty. Also, something I've been doing in my videos a lot lately, I post a link if you wanna save some money on that Bass Dynasty I use on all my soft plastics and jigs. Go down and look in the description of the video, save you some money on that. Check it out, it really is legit stuff, guys. This water is pretty muddy. You can see down probably eight inches, 10 inches. That's okay with me, though. Let's see if these docks are still fire. Oh, man. Water temperature dropped like 10 degrees. That is ridiculous. That's not gonna help. There's a ton of bluegill around these docks I can see right now, so that's probably a good sign, even though the water's dropped like eight degrees in the last couple weeks. At least the bluegill are active. Probably means there's some bass at least that'll be willing to bite tonight, I hope. And we got a little bit of grass too. Also a good deal. Another big swirl back there. We're gonna throw our frog in there because there's probably not carp up yet. See if I can get a big blow up on a frog. Since this water's calm, I'm gonna go ahead and put a different color six cents crank on. Yeah, this is how you keep your uh, square bill cranks when it's square bill crank season. Nice selection of 50s and 75s the best shallow cranks on the market. We're gonna go with this little bluegill guy. Looks exactly like what they're eating down there in those docks. God dang it. There was a bass underneath that dock and I just spooked him. Just sitting underneath there. Looks like probably about a two pounder. Didn't see it until I was like mid cast though. That's a freaking giant. You kidding me? I know there was bass in this lake this small. Told you I'd catch the biggins. Well, there isn't exactly a fire flipping bite. So, let's try the old square bill on the riprap. Oh, there's one big God. Just barely got it. This is gonna be a tough one to get in the boat. Barely hooked. Yes, there we go. Look at that guy's tail. Freaking weird fish. It's like the knob on his tail. He's deformed, but probably three pounds. He's so fat. All right, see you later, buddy. Man, he just like grabbed it. Didn't even seem like he wanted to eat it, but I will take that all day. Oh, that was a fish. Oh yeah. Well, not a giant, he felt good. I will take him though. Two pounder, a little less than two pounds probably. Fun to catch anyway. All right, got a couple fish under our belt. Let's see if we can catch some big ones. Water's actually a lot warmer back here. Could be a really good thing. It's a tiny little pocket though. There's a little bass right there I can see. Let's see if we can sight fish him. He's super small though. There's another bass right there. That was a freaking giant. No way. No way. Did I just break that off? That was a freaking tank. He was right up behind that tree right there. And he took me to school. Can't believe how many fish I've broken off these last few times out. It's really frustrating. 
a new line on my reels. That one, I mean, there's no way that fish was under five pounds. It could have been freaking huge though. I have no idea. I saw a big swirl up there. My line bumped him and he swirled. And then I felt just a little tick and I lifted up and it was just dead freaking weight. That's so frustrating. Little male right there. And a female. Yeah, there's two on beds. Oh, he had it. Come back, buddy. That big one was right up here. This is the warmest water I've seen all night. It's 59 degrees. So I'm gonna hit all these tree ends on the way out even though they're super shallow. There's definitely a bass right there. I can't tell how big it is. Get out of there. Oh. Jig got snagged on the tree and I lost the fish. It wasn't huge, two pounder maybe, but yeah, they are definitely, those are either males. That one back there was not a male. They are up, probably making beds. Oh yeah, little guy. Another one on the bluegill. Six cents crush. I was actually just fishing my way out on the way out and this guy ate it around the point. See bud. Nice if there was a tree. There's another one. That one's better. That one's much better. Look at that guy, he's out of control. Look at that guy. Look at that with the crankbait. Oh my God. Think he wanted that crankbait? That one is in his throat. He's not the biggest, but he was a fighter. He's probably close to three pounds easily. Yeah, definitely close to three. Bye, bud. Seems like every time I get a good angle, I catch a fish. So we're gonna keep pulling this across the points and parallel to this riprap, see if we can get another big one. This spot should be pretty good. I would assume they'd spawn back here. We got warm water again, 58 degrees, a little bit warmer than everywhere else. Should be a good one on this riprap right here. Come on. There's one. I can't tell how big he is. Ooh, decent one. Get off there. Nice fatty on the six cents fifty. Fat two pounder. I can almost guarantee you there is a big one back here somewhere though. Lost half my bites in the tournament on this bait. Fun fish and you don't lose them. Funny how that works. Ever notice how geese are just like total bros getting along and then you get close to them, they gotta freak out and get in a fight and scare all the fish away? It's always fun. All right, so we've hit a bunch of different types of spots. The main deal has been shallow riprap uh, again, once again. Nothing's too surprising. I did lose that big one in a lay down. It seemed like back in that little cut, it was some of the warmest water I've seen tonight. And they seemed to be either bedding or, or the males were at least moving up into those areas, just cruising around. I could see them, just little dark spots. It was super cool to be able to see them and pitch in some of them, get some of those bites. We got a couple more spots to hit. Sun's gonna go down here in about a half an hour. Not exactly a place you wanna be after dark. So we're gonna go hit a couple more big fish spots, hopefully get a five, six pounder before we quit for the day. It's been a good night though so far. Caught several fish and had a good time. That could be a good one. Mm-hmm. There's old Big right there. Another one on that crushed 50. Nice solid three and a half. 
Good one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <sighs> Lost him. Man, you can about call your shots of this riprap. Well, that is a wrap. Interesting video, you know, I broke a $350 rod, broke off probably the biggest fish I had the whole video, but all in all, ended up being pretty successful. Kind of a bunch of different fish. You know, the big difference I think here tonight, the main lake out here where I'm at now, where I finished up and I, I really didn't get a good bite the whole night, is 54, 55 degrees. But down there in the smaller coves and where the water's a little bit shallower uh, overall, the water's way up 58, 59 degrees. Those fish are so much more active. So that's something to look for. You know, it rained a ton. It was really cold over the weekend. So 30, 40 degrees over the weekend with rain that brought the water temperature down a bunch. You know, it's not rocket science, but the fish were a lot more active in that warmer water. So that's something to look for whenever you're out. You know, another thing that was a huge key for me was these Costas, these Costa 580Gs. Uh, it's the blue mirror lens. And I could see those bass, those dark spots. And that clued me in in that one spot uh, the, the bass were, were relating to those lay downs, those little sticks in the water, any type of wood cover back in those shallow cuts. I could actually see the bass there. I flipped to a couple, get bit by them, and then I had that one big one come off. Uh, and I wouldn't even thought to throw back there if it wasn't for those. You know, I've been linking those down below, so I'll link them down in this video. I think they're the best sight fishing glasses money can buy. They're awesome, awesome glasses. Just click on the link, check out their website. There's dozens of different types of glasses. Whether you got a big melon head like I got, or, or a small head, or they got women's stuff, kids stuff, all sorts of stuff, check those out. Anyways though, hopefully I can get on a good spawn, uh, shallow sight fishing bite in the next two or three weeks. That's really gonna go off here in a second. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to Melican Fishing. Really appreciate you guys for watching this and I look forward to seeing you again soon. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I am out. That's how I'm feeling. I'm at the top of my